Attorney General Merrick Garland is addressing Hunter Biden's legal woes for the first time. This all comes as the president's son's plea deal is igniting a political firestorm. House Republicans are vowing to push ahead on investigations into Hunter Biden. Fox's David Spunt reports from Washington where Democrats are slamming the GOP focus on Hunter, alleging the congressional probes are politically motivated. Attorney General Merrick Garland breaking his silence on Hunter Biden's plea deal with federal prosecutors. So as I said, uh, from the moment of my um, appointment as attorney general, I would leave this matter in the hands of the United States attorney who was appointed by the previous president. Garland pushed back against criticism from Republican lawmakers who say his department is showing a double standard of justice. Republicans claim Hunter Biden received a, quote, slap on the wrist one week after former President Donald Trump was indicted in the classified documents probe. Congressional Republicans vowed to press ahead with probes into Hunter Biden's business deals, including those in Ukraine and China. The investigations will continue and we'll only follow it where the information takes us. The Justice Department announced the deal on Tuesday following a five-year probe led by Trump-appointed U.S. Attorney David Weiss. Biden will plead guilty to two misdemeanor counts of tax violations and will enter into a diversion program for possessing a gun as a drug user. The deal, if approved by a federal judge, will likely allow the president's son to avoid jail time. Some Democrats are seeking to downplay or ignore Hunter Biden's legal troubles altogether. And I think Republicans are just trying to distract the American people from what's important. Hunter Biden is not conspiring with President Biden. A federal judge appointed by former President Donald Trump will preside over the case. In Washington, David Spunt, Fox News.